Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and in this video guys, we're gonna talk about if-else statements and of course, we're going to uh, discuss also the nested if-else statements in C programming language. Now, uh, from the previous video, we have created a simple um, application. So we have assumed to create an application for a bar or establishment and then that particular program will ask for the age of the customer that is trying to enter the premises of the bar and of course we ask for the age right and we check for the age if it is greater than 18 then we display the age is greater than 18 and if the age is equal to 18 and we also display the age is equal to 18 but um, in case that the age is less than 18, then we print that minor is not allowed. So basically, guys, this is a good um, program, but we can, you know, upgrade this. This is not uh, when it comes to code readability and um, code maintainability. This is not a good practice when it comes to, um, you, you know, checking a variable or a certain value of a variable so now let's just remove these lines okay and of course we have this first condition if and then we check for the age of the customer which is you know 18 so if the age is greater than 18 we display um, the age is greater than 18 so I uh, as I've said we can take this further by uh, adding else statement right here. So basically the if else statements in C is also used to control the program flow based on some condition. And the only difference is it uh, used to execute some statement code block if the expression is evaluated to true. So it, it will try to execute this particular um, statement if this particular condition is true otherwise it will try to execute the statement of this particular else code block okay so in here we can try to display printf the age is less than or equal to 18 Okay, so as you can see, um, if we try to uh, evaluate this, so if age is greater than 18, so, so for example, you have like 19 or you inputted 19, then of course, automatically it will execute the statement that the age is greater than 18, right? Now, basically, if we try to input 18, so 18 is not greater than 18, so it will try to um, execute the code block or the code or the statements inside this else code block because the condition right here returns false okay because um, 18 is not greater than 18 and uh, there you go it returns false okay now we can also add another condition right here so, for example, we want to check if the uh, age is um, equal to 18, okay? We can check if the age is greater than 18, and of course, we can also check if the user or the age is equal to 15, and then otherwise, it's, it is less than 18, and uh, we can add another L statement right here. But for now, let's just, you know, add the... Uh, another condition or condition evaluation test expression if the user or the age is equal to 18 okay so basically this particular statement um, if this particular condition right here is false then it will try to evaluate one more time with this particular condition is the age equal to 18 so if that particular age is equal to 18, then we can display the age is equal to 
18 right there but in case if the age is less than 18 we can also um, add the L statement right here and we can display that the age is less than 18 okay so as you can see we have you know implemented a practical implementation of if else statement and we can add you know the first if um, condition and then we can add another condition else if and then we can test this condition right here otherwise if these two conditions are returning false then we can you know execute the statements in this particular else block okay so we can try this we can run our program uh, build and run so let's try first the possibilities so for example the customer or the enter the age of customer for example 25 so the age is greater than 18 so let's try to run uh, this once again and we can try to input 18 so the age is equal to 18 okay so this particular condition right here returns true now we can also try to uh, input a value which is you know less than 18 so for example 16 and then of course the age is less than 18 okay so as you can see in this particular example there will be only one um, block of code that will be executed so, so for example this one if this will uh, return true the age is greater than 18 then it will execute this statement right here or inside this ifs uh, block then it will ignore the other um, like the else if and the else now if it will return false then it will try to evaluate the expression inside here and if it is true or it will return true then it will execute this statement and ignore the else if all of these statements or conditions here will return false then the L statement will be executed okay and it will you know try to print the age is less than 18 now there are cases that we need to check also for example inside this uh, if statement we want to check if um, the age is less than 25 okay less than 25 uh, although we have like the age is greater than 18 we want to check also if the age is um, less than 25 so we could add also um, if statement right here so this is like what we call nested if else statements okay nested if else statements. so we can also check here if age is less than 25 okay and then we can uh, display here print f and then the age is um, greater than 18 but less than 25 okay less than 25 and of course we can also add else statement here or else if like for example else if the age is greater than 25 then we can say here print f the age is greater than 18 and greater than 25 so there are cases that you want to check this you know um, if you want to like in the future you want to implement an application and you will try to check the values and somewhere in your code you need to check uh, like the value age here and also you could also check if the value is less than 25 
for greater than 25. So it is very useful when it comes to programming this particular nested if else statement. So let's try to run this. And before that, I'm just going to add a uh, backslash n right here so that we will have a new line after this particular code execution. So let's try to build and run our app first and try to input a value that is over 18. So for example, 23. So the age is greater than 18 and there's another statement that has been executed right here. The age is greater than 18 but less than 25. We can also, you know, run this once again and input 26. So the age is greater than 18 and there's also a statement here the age is greater than 18 and um, greater than 25 okay and uh, that's how you use the if l statement or um, yeah if l statements in c and then of course if you have like many conditions that you want to check so you can also add um, another conditions right here okay and then another condition and um, otherwise if there uh, if these conditions are not met then you can uh, display or execute the statement inside this else code block okay now uh, the nested if else statement requires only one if okay so you can't use like uh, two ifs here because it will try to separate the uh, chain of if else if you use another if. So what you can do is uh, one if and then else if, else if, and also one else statement. So it doesn't matter how many else if statement that you can add, okay? For as long as it is like has one if and has one uh, else statement okay so i think that's all there is to it guys for this tutorial and um, i hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you want to learn more about c programming you can try to follow our c programming tutorial for beginners so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video